the hype train. We've got 12 minutes, 12 minutes until we are going live with this thing. So I thought I'd hop on now, get the, the show started, uh, get some chat going, and um, we'll get ready for it. So we'll, we'll switch over to another screen um, as soon as the... Uh, the trailer or we approach the trailer and um, becoming live hopefully the music isn't too loud it should be all right i'm just gonna turn it down a touch so um yeah super hyped we've got the trailer for crown tundra finally dropping um after like so long it just felt like it was kind of gonna be this week this week this week this week for the last few weeks and it's finally here so very excited and so much to look forward to it's like nuts actually how much um stuff we've got going hype is real here we go here we go so excited so excited so excited okay here we go here we go here we go hello everyone i'm ishihara from the pokemon company Today, I'd like to present some new information on the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. First, let's hear more about the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Please have a look at this trailer. Here we go, here we go. Turn it up. Okay, it's so quiet, isn't it? It's so quiet. Is that better, guys? Perfect. Okay, here we go. Right. It's really quiet on my end. I think it's a video. <gasps> it's glaring, it's looking. That was like the quickest glance at it. Needle King, here we go. And there's the Dragonite. That's Articuno. Calyrex. And Zygarde! Tapus! Suicune! Okay. Oh, this looks awesome. So, like, literally getting all the legendaries back. And the Restricted. And Rayquaza. Here's the main man. Galarian Star Tournament. Doubles. Okay. So a massive shout to VG. Okay, this is very cool. I like this. Fridilly, Metagross. I'm really, really hyped about this. This is just nuts. There's the birds and the legends. Must be the different temples where we get them. Okay, that's that's hype. That is hype. I love it. Too much to like digest so right now. Think? Let's take a closer look at the new adventures awaiting you in the okay. Galar region's Crown Tundra. In the Crown Tundra, the second area unlocked by your expansion pass, you'll explore a snow-swept expanse with new faces and new adventures. There, you'll meet Peony, who will put you in charge as his expedition chief. Your investigations will take you across snow-covered hills and into a Pokémon den, where you'll reach depths beyond those that Max Raid Battles have taken you to previously. But that's not all that awaits you in the Crown Tundra. Lots of legendary Pokémon call the area home, too. It looks like your adventures in this wintry land will give you an opportunity to obtain every legendary Pokemon that's appeared in the main series of Pokemon games so far. Every legendary. Awesome. Many of those legendary Pokemon seem to dwell deep inside a special layer where Dynamax Pokemon are said to lurk, the same layer you can explore during Dynamax adventures. Team up with three other trainers to explore these caves. 
Okay, this Battling looks very wild cool. Dynamax Pokemon as you make your way into the depths. And there's more. After adventuring in the Crown Tundra, you'll have the opportunity to form a dream team with some of the other trainers you've met in the Galar region for some red-hot battles in the new Galarian Star Tournament. Okay. You'll be able to pick a partner from among trainers you've met in Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield and the game's respective expansion passes. This is very cool. I like this a lot. Depending on who you team up with and who you face in battle, you might glimpse new sides of these familiar friends and foes that you didn't see on your path to becoming champion. We hope you'll enjoy your new adventures in the Crown Tundra. You'll be able to start exploring part two of the expansion passes, the Crown Tundra, on October 22nd. October 22nd! What's more, on November 6th, we'll be releasing all-in-one bundle versions of the Pokemon Sword Hype. and Pokemon Shield games that include their respective expansion passes. Is that October 22nd, right? For anyone right? who hasn't visited the Galar region yet, this will be a great opportunity to come explore. Yeah. And to celebrate the release of the Crown Tundra, some special Pikachu are on their way to you. This is a max raid event I reckon we'll get, maybe? Is to get it? these special Pikachu for yourself, you'll need passwords that will soon be revealed in various places. Okay. You can get the password for your first special Pikachu starting right now. There's the, there's the code, so plug it in. Enjoy your ongoing adventures with your new Pikachu friends. Okay, 22nd of October. Next, we have some news about Pokemon Home. Bot sausage deadline for your thesis on the 23rd. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. The long awaited link It'd be fine, dude. Pokemon It'd be fine. Go and Pokemon Home is coming. With this link, Pokemon. Oh, nice. They've got the. They've go, actually we'll linked it so we can trade from Go to Home to world, Sword and Shield. Pokemon That's Sword awesome. Okay. Shield by way of Pokemon Home. What's more, if you send a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home, you'll be able to open the mystery box in Pokemon Go. Opening the mystery box will cause the mythical Pokemon Meltan to appear on your map in the app. You'll also receive a mystery gift in Pokemon Home containing a special Melmetal that is capable of Gigantamax. Let's go, let's go! A Come Melmetal on! Like this hasn't been available until now. Nice. Okay, that's very cool. Continue your adventures in the Gala region with this special Melmetal and unleash its powerful G-Max move. We're planning to have the okay. link between Pokemon Go Satisfied. and Pokemon Home all set up before the end of Within 2020. The uh, Please stay tuned for more updates. That's all the new information about our games <laughs> that we have for you today. Yeah, there's still nothing yet. I mean, we, we know about the legendary birds. We don't really know where we're going to catch them. Ah, we do have Galarian Slowking. Here we go. Hexpert Pokemon, Poison Psychic, um, Ability Curious Medicine. Now, that is interesting. Okay, so it's got a new ability. Okay. A brainy shell that takes charge. A shell that bites set off a reaction between the chemicals se uh, secreted by Glarian Slowpoke's brain and its spices inside its body, causing Slowpoke to gain the poison type as it evolved into Glarian Slowking. The shellder's intelligence also skyrocketed, giving the shellder psychic powers and put other psychic type Pokemon to shame. Okay, so that's pretty hype. Uh, the Hexpert that communicates through strange incarnations uh glaring slow king have been observed uttering incarnations in order to communicate with each other uh, they also appear to chant mysterious spells when using moves in battle exactly what these slow king are saying has yet to be fully understood okay how long's it been <laughs> how long's it been for this chat right we've had it we've had it i probably should knock it off i probably should knock it off so you guys can can at least chat but Shade, thank you so much for that, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed the trailer as well, mate. Okay, what else have we got? Uh, signature move, Eerie Spell. So Eerie Spell is a psychic type special move in which Pokemon attacks with tremendous psychic power. If hit, that opponent doesn't only take damage. It also loses 3 PP from the move it last used. Okay, that's pretty nuts. 
No, I, I disabled it. I disabled it. It should be back to normal. Yeah, it should be back to normal. So <laughs> emote chat is off, friends. It's off. I know, yeah, they are a bit obsessed with um they are a bit obsessed with the PP, but that's pretty big. Like three PP lost. That's quite a lot. Um for a move that an attack and move as well, so that's not bad. Yeah, five PP moves are gonna struggle. Uh, because two hits from 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 this attack, eerie spell means that they're probably depleting like eight like the eight PP. That'd be six PP. So if they attacked with it t twice in a row, it makes yeah, it's interesting. Interesting. See how it come in uh, comes into play. Glarian Soul King's ability, Curious Medicine, is a new ability introduced with the this expansion. When a Pokemon with this ability enters a battlefield, allies' stat changes are reset. Okay. So it resets like intimidates and any drops from max moves. That's interesting. I was kind of hoping it would be more like a haze where it resets everything on the field. But that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, for your ally, it looks like. So it doesn't look like it affects opponents. Um, yeah, so Absol's stat changes were removed. So that that's a really good way of negating intimidate, especially for physical attackers. Um, okay, I like I like these tools that uh, Galarian Slow King has at its disposal for sure. Um, do we have? Okay, I think uh, Bevan said we've got more news. So it's updated. Here we go. Um, on sale. That's a dual pack expansion pass early bonus. What have we got? So if you purchase Sword and Shield expansion pass um, bundle, you'll receive. 100 Pokeballs is a special pull bonus. It's not good for us that have already got Isle of Armor, so I don't know if that actually works. Um, but there's there's the bonus I get that you're going to get. Um, and that pack is available on the 6th of November. That's some nice artwork there. Uh, the current Tundra is the second area you'll be able to visit for your expansion pass. You'll see yourself this vast landscape with its drifts of glittering snow in the frigid area with jagged snowy mountains. People have settled in small tight-knit communities. Uh, early in your venture here, a man named Peony will appoint you as leader of his expedition uh, team in the current tundra. You'll be tasked with investigating the reaches of the frozen land, including the depth of Pokemon Den, something that you've been uh, uh, you've so far been able to glimpse only during max raid battles. That's more uh, what's more, it seemingly seems many legendary Pokemon make it to Karen Tundra, uh, their home, which is interesting. You know how you did see when we were doing it, uh, and shared the ability is solid. I think it's not that good though. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how it interacts. It's, uh, it's, it's one of those, isn't it? It's definitely one of those. Um, hundred Pokeballs will get in. <laughs> There's the hype. That's the hype that you wanted. And Darren VGC, thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for joining us. Grim also thank you in Yeah, yeah, dude. I know, right? Um one of the things that was interesting was because we saw Clefa uh, Clefairy Max Raid in that co-op kind of uh, raid den task thing. So I wonder if you have to go through certain uh, levels of Pokemon before you hit the legendary. I wonder, I hope they don't make it too complex and too time consuming because raid battles are quite consuming. Um doesn't look like okay dynamax adventures is the new thing so they got that we find out a bit of information about that um new features added in crown tundra in dynamax adventures you'll team up with three other trainers which we know um to explore pokemon den where dynamax pokemon are said to lurk instead of your regular pokemon team your fellow trainers will choose rental pokemon to bring along into the depth of the den so already that kind of probably makes it a little bit more tricky if you're not able to use your own pokemon uh, and have to use rentals if you encounter a wild Dynamax Pokemon during your exploration, you'll need to work together with your three teammates in a max raid battle. If you win the battle, you'll have the chance to catch the Pokemon and one trainer on your team can swap the newly caught Pokemon in for the Pokemon they had before. Okay, 
but if you lose a battle you'll be rejected from the den okay well that's as it is try and uh try swapping out pokemon as you explore so you'll be prepared when you face whatever comes next as you seek the legendary pokemon so it is a little bit like that you're gonna have to go through a bunch of stuff to eventually find a legendary hmm and if you want to delve even deeper into the den, Endless Dynamax Adventures may be a thing for you. Endless Dynamax Adventures let you keep on going until you lose a battle. So if you actually... Oh, that sounds that sounds pretty brutal. So if you actually lose a Dynamax match, uh, you'll get kicked out and you have to start all over again, which could be quite brutal if, if some of the legendaries are like well deep into the dens. Um, and all of the legendary Pokemon... Uh, from the past are back so we've got like literally all of them um they've been available in games which is very exciting um they've included urshifu there so i wonder if we'll be able to get the chance to get urshifu uh on additional like different forms and things like that which would be really cool catch it in a different ball yeah the rental thing will make it very fun very tough as well i think will but a nice feature as well um it's definitely a good mix up it's gonna make like we'll definitely do streams with these so that'll make it a very fun um and then the galarian birds so we can get both forms actually so you can get the original zapdos uh articuno moltres and the, the the kind of the variation galarian forms of those in these dens and it looks like calyrex is maybe going to be available there with the current tundra you'll be able to encounter every legendary pokemon that has appeared in the main series of the pokemon games find legendary pokemon during your travels in crown tundra or while you're on a dynamax adventure you'll have a chance to catch them some legendary pokemon appear only in pokemon sword with pokemon sword expansion pass while others appear in pokemon shield with the shield expansion pass don't know which one will appear in which yet but um i guess if you're kind of joining different parties all the time if the lead person is on a copy of the game where that's available that makes it fine doesn't it shiny of urshifu do you reckon do you reckon shiny urshifu do you reckon we'll get it bevan that might be quite good uh cameron i think all the dogs will be i i agree with you i think that would be very good um yeah, they've got Silvale kind of lined up here. I g guess they're classifying it as a legendary. I wouldn't have really classified it. It's a, a sweet, a pseudo legendary at best, really, isn't it? And that's a stretch. Heatran, though, is back. And I do love that Heatran's back. Richard Gigas as well. I mean, that thing is, like any of these things, Dynamax, they're going to be nasty. No hints at any kind of um, primal forms. So that's that's interesting. Maybe a good thing for competitive, to be honest, because uh, they are pretty bust. And Krim, you're going to be ready for this. Yeah, gym challenge is going to be awesome, man. It's going to be su super good. And Beba, Max Tapu Koko is going to be so... Uh, all the Tapus maxed are going to be nasty. <sighs> And yeah, physical Coco is definitely going to be. And I think this is the final thing. Oh no, we've got the ability patch there. So there's the Galarian Star Tournament, which we know is going to be, um, it's a brainchild of Leon uh, intended to fire up the spirits of the Galar region. Uh, so it looks like there's just an extension to, to what is going on where you pair up with a, a trainer from your journey and you have double battles in the league, I guess. So it's a little extension, a little kind of, post game stuff that we can go and do which is nice and then finally the ability caps or the ability patch in current tender you'll be able to get a new item called the ability p oh new items items which is interesting called the ability patches uh which is interesting so there's not going to be just one there's going to be various ones uh they're hard to come by great but uh, but worth the effort okay if you use one on a pokemon its ability will change to its uh, species hidden ability uh, if it has one with an ability patch and a help uh, of helping of max soup from the isle of armor you can bring out a hidden ability of the first partner pokemon you choose at the beginning of pokemon sword and shield oh that's quite cool so you can give like um yeah well we know we can know we can give grookey grassy surge that's cool okay it's interesting that how they phrase it though new items you know ability patches i thought it would just be like one item uh content plan to be added with the pokemon expansion passes so we've got new areas uh no kufu urshifu which is interesting because they have listed urshifu as one of the uh the legendaries that is back so whether or not that's just maybe a, it's not i don't know i don't know 
makes you kind of think that it might not be available then. Uh, Calyrex is available. Uh, the Gigantic Max forms of those, not there. So new regional forms, we've got those there. Uh, that'll be the birds, I would imagine. And Galarian Slowking. Pokemon that didn't appear in Sword or Pokemon Shield. Yep. Uh, new Pokedexes, new item, cloth items. Uh, Pokemon added to Max Raid Battles. Yeah, new items again. No tutors. Uh, restricted power, no. Uh, new co-op play mode okay we are planning to add even more new and appealing features to the expansions that the content listed uh, than the content listed above we hope that you'll be looking forward to more adventures that take you further into the world of pokemon sword and shield okay so they may add things that they haven't got here um yeah okay so they're gonna add stuff they've confirmed that they might just be sitting on things. So there is hope for the tutors and things like that. Uh, also could have sworn that this chart had a new tutor. Yeah, I I thought they'd already confirmed new tutors for Tundra. So maybe they're kind of sitting on it. And Cameron, I have a bunch of ghost shinies to move over. That would be nice, dude, as well. Yeah, uh, the data mine of the map is so much bigger. That's the thing as well, because we know how big Crown Tundra is as a, as an area on the map. It's like twice the size. Well, even bigger than that, than the Isle of Armour. So it has to be. I think we just got a very, very light tasting of Crown Tundra. And I imagine we'll probably get some more news very soon about it, or at least um i guess some sort of trailer with more stuff in the lead up to it because we've only got what 20 well 23 days until it drops so a little over three weeks which is not long so they've got plenty of time to drop some tr trailers in before then so i'm super hyped though i'm pleased that we got this information and pleased that we got an october release date friends have a great rest of your day Thank you again for coming out to the stream today and uh, we'll let this news digest and uh, I look forward to talking in depth with you all if you come to the stream tomorrow night. So hopefully it'll be fun. Uh, imagine if the legends were shiny locked. Yeah, let's not think about that. Let's hope they're not. We need we need all the shinies available. Uh, the legendary sh available shiny. We need that to happen. <laughs> okay, friends. Have a good one. I'll catch you all later on. So hopefully tomorrow night. Yeah, have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourself. And I'll see you all for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.